Hey everyone, what's up? This is Tyson at Titans of CNC. Recently, my dad put up a video introducing the Puma 2600 SY. I thought it'd be cool today to go over the Fanuc i-Series control on this machine and go over some little tips and tricks and some of my first impressions on it. So here we have the control panel. So with this machine, while the door is open, there'll be an alarm. That's why my light is red right now. If I close the door, that'll clear the alarm. Now, when I first turn on this machine and I clear off my emergency stop, the very first thing that I need to do is I need to home out my turret. All we have to do is we have to go into reference mode here, and then we're going to home out the axis on the turret. We're going to push the Y plus button. We're going to push the X plus button, and we're going to push the Z plus button, and that's going to home it out. You can see these lights over here. The green lights on them means that axis is at home now. Let's go over jogging the turret a little bit. So one of the nice things about the Doosan is that you can handle jog and you can work with a lot of these controls with the door open. There are some things like just now when I had to home out my machine, I had to keep the door closed. But there are a lot more freedoms with the door open than a lot of other machines that I've worked with. We have two different jog modes here. We have jogging with the controller. If I click on this jog button, we can jog the turret by pushing these access controls here. It's slow while the door is open, but then if I close the door, I can actually rapid by using this rapid button here. And then these speed controls here, that'll control how fast this turret rapids while holding down this rapid key. So if I take it to 100%, it moves pretty fast. Now to use the handle jog, we're gonna go and press the handle button here. And now we can handle jog the turret by selecting our axis. We can handle jog, I can move in X, and then if I click the Z axis here, we can move in Z. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna index the turret. Over here, we have what tool is selected. If I'm in any of these bottom modes over here, so any of the, re either the reference or the jog modes, you can actually look inside of the machine. There's a little screen that shows what tool is currently being used and what axis I'm using in handle jog. So that'll only show up if I'm using the bottom three buttons over here. Now to index the turret, you have minus and plus here. So we're gonna pick a tool. And when we're happy with our choice, we're gonna close the door and then push this middle button here. And that'll index the turret to our chosen tool. Over here, we have some of our program controls. We have single block, we have block skip, optional stop, dry run mode. And then we also have options for our turrets. We have our left spindle, our live tool, our right spindle. To bring the tool probe down, we're gonna go into jog, and then I'm gonna push the quick setter button here. And that automatically brings down the tool probe. To bring it back up, I just push it one more time, and there you have it. So up here we have our keyboard and we have our, all our different screens over here. We have a help page, has our positions, an actual position page that has like our speeds and whatever G codes we're using. Our program page, it'll also have whatever active program we're using. Offsets and then settings, any messages or alarms. We have uh, graphics. And then if we push this custom button, we have some extra pages here. One of the cool ones was the operation status page here. You have some monitors. You can set tool counts, have the machine let you know when a tool's ran a certain amount of times. We have our current override settings. So these will change depending on these knobs that I change for the feed rate override and the spindle override. And then you have your machine positions. If you're running a program, it'll show you your distance to go. And then your cycle time and your run times will show up here if you're running a program. That's a pretty cool screen that shows you a lot of info. Now let's go over how to load a program. We're gonna be in edit mode. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna to go to program. We're in CNC memory right now. This is our current folder that has all of our programs stored in this machine. We're gonna go and we're gonna select a program off my USB stick. One thing that I should note on the Fanuc series, we actually had to set up the machine to read from the USB. So in our settings, we actually have a channel selection here, and that's actually selecting what channel we're gonna read our programs from. So when we set this machine up, we selected channel 17, which is the USB drive. There's also other options for different types of readers. 
We're just using the USB drive. That's number 17. I'm gonna click on OPRT. I'm gonna go to device change. And then I'm gonna go to USB memory. So here's our program in the USB drive. I had to make sure to name it properly like with other programs on this machine. So for the file name, it had to be an O and then four digits after it. So I named this one O1175. I've got it highlighted. I'm gonna click the arrow here and I'm gonna click on F input. I'm gonna click on F get and we're gonna click on F set. Then I'm gonna click on F get again and I'm gonna click on P set. I see my program in both P and F there. I'm gonna click on execute. I've got my program selected right now. You can see it at the top here. And if I go back to my first directory, so we'll go back to device change and go to CNC memory. You can see my program is now listed here. Cool, so we went over the controls a little bit. I showed you how to load a program. We've got some crazy videos coming up for this machine. I'm really excited. We're working on a new part for it. I'm gonna do some tutorials for you. We got some new tool holders we're gonna be using on it. So these are KM40 tool holders from Kenametal. See, I got a little hydraulic chuck. Look at this little guy. But it's great, it's gonna have lots of clearance in this machine. I'm really excited to try it out. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and keep an eye out for my next video.